صراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا Reception. Speakers at the reception talked about what a blessing the month of Ramadan is. The two Muslim members of Congress both arrived a little late, since they first had to vote on several pieces of legislation. Keith Ellison, who represents a district in the American state of Minnesota, is America's first Muslim congressman. Ramadan Kareem, everybody! You know, the day before Ramadan begins is always a day that I anticipate, I look forward to it. That's right. You know, uh, for me, you know, it's a time of renewal. It's a time of discovery and rediscovery. It's a time to really strengthen friendships because, you know, we get together more often than we usually do. And uh, it's a time to uh, really, just, really just reflect and reconcile yourself. The other Muslim member of Congress, Andre Carson, represents a district in the state of Indiana. A lot of people ask me, Congressman Pascrell, what does it mean to be a Muslim in Congress? And I look at them, I think about it for a few seconds, and I say, to be a Muslim in Congress means to be able to, one, proudly represent Muslims all across the country and the world. It means to solidify and reaffirm and concretize our presence in this country and the investments that Muslims are making each and every day in business, law, politics, medicine, and other things. But it also means to be under constant scrutiny, to be constantly picked apart, to have one's loyalty and commitment to this country questioned on a daily basis. The reception was organized by Islamic Relief, a major American organization that provides development help and relief at times of natural disaster. Abed Ayyub immigrated to America from Palestine 22 years ago and now heads the organization. We want to introduce Ramadan to everyone in the United States and we want to tell them that the purpose of Ramadan is not just to get hungry yourself, it's just to feel with the people who are less fortunate, who are hungry around the world and there are millions of people, they cannot find food to eat. And we want to tell everybody that we need to feel with them and we need to support them. As he was leaving, U.S. Congressman Keith Ellison reflected on what the reception here at the congressional offices meant for him as an American convert to Islam. Islam slowly but surely is being embraced, accepted as an important uh, part of American life. Uh, you know, there's uh, several million Muslims in the United States. There's several thousand mosques in the United States. We have had some, we have encountered some difficulty with some unfair, intolerant people. But as people get to know real Muslims, they always accept them. So uh, part of what we're doing here is building bridges between Americans. Some are Muslim, some are Jewish, some are Christian, some are of no faith at all. But in our country, people have the right to worship as they choose. Just as in Islam, there's no compulsion in religion. The reception was not an isolated event. The growing number of Muslim staff members working for various Congress people have their own association, which holds prayers every Friday in the Congress building. This was a special event at the U.S. Congress. It was organized by America's main Islamic relief organization and addressed by the two Muslim members of the U.S. Congress. In the words of one of them, the event was a sign of just how much Islam has become a normal part of American life. Burton Bolag, KSA2, in front of the U.S. Congressional offices in Washington.